Hi guys, I wish to take you through a simple car rental management system using Microsoft Access. Uh, to start with, you have the three modules where we have the capture customer module. You also have the hire the car module and also we have return hired module. Then you can also quit the application. Therefore, this is the simple dashboard where you can be in a position to do the stuff. Therefore, to start with our system, you need to capture the customer. Therefore, when a customer comes around, you just capture a customer here. Right now, we can just do a demonstration on that where we can go to add new. Then we have the serial number. Right now, we can have Berinda Wanja. Then the phone number of the person 0799027371. Then the address of the customer can be something like 34 Nyeri. Then you also need to tick that this person is actually hiring and then you can just refresh. Therefore, once you do that, you can be in a position to see that uh, we have captured a new customer who wish to hire uh, our vehicle then after having done that one uh, once you capture your several customers you then cross the register customers module then once you you go that one you then go to the next module the next module is higher entry and therefore for that case once you go to this GUI this graphical user interface then you can just go to uh, add record like that then our system for that case will be uh, blank and therefore I just go to this I capture the date I want to hire a vehicle on 9th then you choose the customer the customer is Berinda then you just go ahead and choose the car like for example we have two cars available for hire like now we have the Subaru Impreza then this guy is hiring one and then there is the charges here if we just go you uh, the charges are preferred but in case this person is also hiring the next the the next available vehicle here Toyota Corolla then we have one car therefore the, the charge of one car is 2500 and that means this guy will have hired our two cars therefore when you hit on this one here this is a gentleman like that you can be in a position to see that this guy has not been assigned any discount and in case we give a discount of 500 500 then you'll be in a position to see that uh, the total charged amount for this uh, system here is this point and to get the full receipt for this person Berinda Wanja here you just hit on print receipt then you'll be in a position to see uh, the receipt here Therefore, the receipt is here for the two vehicles at a cost of 2500 and the next one at a cost of uh, 6000 Then you see the full receipt uh, for that case. And therefore, this is just a simple, a simple system uh, created using Microsoft Access. And therefore, I will be demonstrating on how I have gone about it. And to start with, ladies and gentlemen, you need to create the following tables. You need to create accounts table. Therefore, if you go to design view, uh, for that case, let me just cross this one, cross all. Therefore, if you go to this one, you need to create accounts. Uh, that is accounts table. Accounts table will have the customer name as the primary key. That is for the accounts table. Then you also need to indicate these two important fields whether the person is hiring a vehicle which is yes or no data type and also return vehicle which is also yes or no data type then on the other next thing you need to create cars table the cars table will capture the car the car should be the primary key since there is no two cars with similar engine or number plates that are similar uh, just because of uh, unique identification purposes. Therefore, I decided to use the car text uh, or task text and also the primary key. 
Then we have the category, it can be something like Subaru, Impreza, or Toyota Corolla, what, NZD, such. Then you have the rate, this is the amount charged. Then after having done that one, you can also go ahead and have the higher details. Therefore, the higher details, we shall have an auto number, also a field that will be used for relationship with the higher entry table. Then you have the car, the quantity, this is the number that the user can, can that is the customer can borrow, the rate, these are the charges. Then this is a calculated field where it will have the rate multiplied by, by quantity. Then you have return date, yeah, this is the return date. Penalty, in case the person did not return the car, and also remarks by the owner. On the other hand, we also need to have this one, that is, uh, the, that is the higher entry, where we shall capture the customer, we shall also capture the hiring date, uh, the total amount that has been paid, then this one will be auto-calculated, the discount, the pre-discount, and the grad total. Those ones will be calculated, calculated by the system. Then when we go to the queries, we need to create a query that will produce the receipt. Therefore, this is the query that will produce the receipt. And for that case, um, the query uh, looks exactly as you can see. Therefore, let me just magnify in case you wish to create like mine so that you can be in a position to screenshot and print. You can screenshot and print this one. Therefore, this is the filter criteria. It is filtering from a form called uh, higher entry where it will filter this field. The field is this one here. That is the ID. Therefore, these are the relationship here for that case. Therefore, you need to have the cars related to the cars in this one and also the this ID here related to this ID. Therefore, in, in the on the other hand, you can also create a query to display the prices. That one, we shall need to have the car and the higher details where the car, here is the primary key, whereas this one, here is the foreign key for that matter. Then, on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, we can go and look at the relationships. Therefore, this is the relationships that uh, can be depicted here. Therefore, you just have it this way. This is the accounts where we have the S name or the username here is related to the customer on the H entry table. Then we also have this field related to this field. Then you also have the car here related to car. That one now makes it complete relationship that uh, will ensure that our system is actually working. Then on the other hand, if we go back to our system, if I open the main here, this is the dashboard, then I go to return hired vehicle here. You'll notice that the first thing, the person goes here, this is inactive, this is inactive, this is inactive, this is just to show the person operating the system that this guy had done ABCD. And for that case, if somebody wants to return the vehicle, you just come to this point, then click the user. And that way, if you notice that Berinda had, uh, had hired two vehicles, and these two vehicles were charged as follows. Therefore, you just key in now the return date here. Therefore, for example, uh, she returned the same day. Therefore, you just clear the vehicles from this point, and then just type here the vehicles were cleared for that case and for this one is cleared and therefore penalty here is zero you just type that manually zero therefore that one that vehicle there has been returned and therefore it's available for borrowing then on the other hand it's also important we go through and uh, look at how we created the receipt therefore the receipt this is how the receipt is just try to see the measurement it is up to 2.5 here because of the print the receipt printer the receipt printer cannot print a very large or a very wide receipt and therefore for that case if you try to print this one uh, you'll be in a position to see let's just try one then you'll be in a position to see that uh, at one is working good therefore like for example if we go to uh, the, the next guy here uh, like let's just go to this one if I print this receipt here by uh, hitting on print receipt, 
Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that this is receipt it be, can be captured and uh, printed by a, a print that is for a receipt printer. Therefore, this is what I, uh, that this is what I have done. Then, on the other hand, we can also try to look at uh, how I created this form here. It's also very important. If you are very keen, ladies and gentlemen, these are two forms. Therefore, this is the main form. Then this is the the this is the sub form. And therefore, I can just uh, demonstrate on how to do that one. Therefore, you just go to create. Then you go to create a form. Uh, sorry, you just uh, you just discard that. Also, remove that. And therefore, just go to create. Then form wizard. Then you start by creating the higher entry. You send everything to the right hand side. Next, next. Here you can just call it uh, capture. Then finish. This is what I have. Then from here I just go to design view. And then can just increase this one. Then I just take whatever I don't want that side. Therefore this one can be brought somewhere there. Then pull this down. Then after doing that, remove the feeds you don't want. Like for example, I didn't use those ones. Then I just went ahead to this point, take the rectangle, and then draw the rectangle here. I also went back again there, take the rectangle, draw the rectangle again in that case. Then just drag your mouse, go to format, go to size, size like 12, go to color, and also make them bold. Then for this case, I highlight this, I want this one to be all right aligned. Also this ones, I want to be like them right aligned. Then for that case, then I need to insert a photo here. Just go to design, then take a photo. You can browse, but for me it's already there. Therefore in case I do that, then I can just draw my logo there. Then bring this this side. Therefore here you can just type that this is car hire. Car hiring. That is management system. Then after doing that, just increase this to a good level. Go back to format. You do that one. Just increase the font size that way. Then if I try to pull this to that end, then take this up here. Then after doing that, ladies and gentlemen, go back to design. Then take the sub form this one this is the sub form sub report wizard and then drag across that way this initializes therefore just go to next just go to set everything to that other end next then at this juncture choose the field that is common how do you want to use it like for example here i just opt to use don't have id id can use customer customer s name then go to the next finish therefore for that case if i run it this way you'll be in a position to see that uh, my fields are well organized at this point here but still i can be in a position to uh, go back to this point and delete this therefore i delete this one then uh, like i can still do this just go to a query like this one and drag it here that is easier method of creating a subform. Then go to design my own. Then you can choose a field that is common, like that one. Then hit next, finish. Therefore, after doing that, you remove this part. Then you can also drag this to a certain end. Then also increase this one that way. On the other hand, you can also try to do something good on this. Like for example, reducing the sizes that you see or feel they're exaggerated, like that. You can also make them borrowed that way. Then you can still go ahead and run your subform. Therefore, you see, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have done, so that I can be in a position now to to have the fields marked for me. You see, that's how I went ahead by creating the. Uh, that is by creating the form that you have just seen uh, working. Therefore, that's how you, you do this, this stuff. 
that's how you go about it then uh, on the other hand if you are keen ladies and gentlemen when i if i go back to this one here there are these calculations here therefore as i capture more it is calculating the percentage discount after i give a discount here therefore if i give zero here you see now it goes back to that in that therefore it's also important i show you how that one is accomplished therefore if you go to this one in design view after drawing the text boxes here i go to properties then i just go to event then i go to on click event therefore on click event you write the formula like for example the first formula for uh, for calculating the let's just pull up the first formula for calculating subtotal is grad total equals to total minus discount that is for the grad total and for the grad total we need to have the total amount this one here this one here therefore you just write lowest sub form dot form then the field that has total and the field that has total here ladies and gentlemen here if i just cross this for clarity you notice that um, I calculated my total here. This is how I calculated my total. This is equals to sum amount. Therefore, this calculates, calculates the total amount in this point here. This one. Therefore, it calculates this one here. This this one amount because you have seen I have pressed it in the form footer of the sub form. Therefore, that one has been now called, it is being called in the, in this text box here, using the code. Therefore, if I go back here, my total is in text 18, and therefore text 18 here is referenced as the total. And therefore, when you go to calculate, to do the other calculations here, you will notice that total minus now discount. On the other hand, discount now is the discount over the total times 100. But it is not a must you do them in this uh, point. You can uh, do them here uh, directly or from the query. But I just decided to do that one from that point. Then, on the other hand, there is this button here. You see now the button is maximizing the ribbon or when double clicked it minimizes the ribbon therefore for that one you just hit the ribbon here then you can view the code and therefore this is the code here this is the code this is the code you just write on click event do command show show turba that is the ribbon act turba no if i want it displayed then should be no if i want it hidden then you write this code here using the yes remember ladies and gentlemen you can download a copy of this system on my website the url or the website address is just below this video so that you can be in a position to look at how i have done everything in this context and therefore ladies and gentlemen remember to subscribe if you haven't done so so that you can be in a position to get more and more codes as I do them. And for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.